Hey guys, Smart is here. Welcome back to another video. Today, um, it's just sort of an introductory video. I'm not really going to be doing much in this video. I just want to talk about stuff. First off, I know I've not uploaded much in a while, but um, last like Tuesday was my assignment deadline, and uh, yeah, I was so busy. One thing that's made me so busy in the past couple of weeks is because I've not arranged my time very effectively towards the project. Like, if I'd have got a lot more work done in the beginning, I could have, like, been a bit more chill about it near the end, but I didn't have that opportunity to do so. Aside from that, I've started my new project now, and it's just annoying, really. Like, I've got this new assignment brief, and, yeah, the brief is literally based all around concept art and I'm going to be doing it for three months straight and yeah like with the previous project it was better because like I had the opportunity well opportunity to create a game um, using Game Maker Studio but this project I'm not even creating a game so like I'm, I'm on a game design course and not even developing a game just work that one out <laughs> so yeah like in my spare time well yeah it is going to be spare because I'm going to arrange my time more efficiently I'm going to produce one video a week and I'm going to upload it every Monday from now on it's a new year so I'm going to see it as a fresh start like, I'm going to have a chance to redeem myself from, like, months of inactivity on YouTube. I know I've not uploaded in a while, and I'm very sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to try and create a game in my spare time. Um, and I'm still putting an idea together for it. But, um, yeah, like, once I've got the idea formulated properly, I'm going to create a game design document and a project plan. And I'm going to basically put this project along the side of my uni work. So I'm creating a game in my spare time. To basically fulfill my programming need. <laughs> like, the thing is, I'm a computer programmer. I'm not a concept artist. And I'm in a game design course where programming isn't that much of a focus. And to be stuck doing concept art for three months straight is literally going to kill me. <laughs> so, the only way alternative is to do something in my spare time that's not going to take over my project. But it's just going to be something I'm going to be able to do when I want to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to be making a game, basically. And the reason I'm doing it is because I want to do it in my spare time and like do computer programming, learn some more stuff about it. But the reason I'm doing it is because I don't get the opportunity with my course for the next three months. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. Now, yeah, since it's the new year, I've kind of upped my game a bit in terms of YouTube production. Um, the first thing is that I've got new studio lighting. Now, if I just take my webcam a moment, <laughs> let's tilt it to the left a bit. That's one lamp. That's the other. <laughs> and they're literally they're just so bright, I can't even deal. So yeah, I've got new studio lighting. I've also got a new 1080p webcam which I'm using right now. Now, when I did record my first cameras in like previous years, I used this thing, my video camera. For filming on the go, this is acceptable, but when I'm just sat at my desk, I could be saving so much time by using a webcam which is plugged into my computer and then recording directly over the video. So that means I don't have to lip sync a face cam, I don't have to transfer a file, and I've got more editing functionality, sort of, yeah. 
Now, I did use Fraps to record with, but I'm now using OBS, and there's a reason for that. Because, not only have I got studio lighting and a new webcam, I've got a green screen. <laughs> so, what I'm going to be doing, when I'm developing this game project, um, there's a reason why I've done all of this. When I'm developing this game project of mine, I'm going to be producing tutorials every week. Um, this week, I'm going to plan it all out, the structure of the tutorials that I'm going to do. And I'm going to formulate it so I know what to do every week. And I'm also going to try and, yeah, produce some new, like, channel art for my channel. And, like, rebrand it a little bit, just to signify the new year. Now... The reason I've got the green screen is because it's going to be behind me here and it's basically just going to key out all of my bedroom and I, sat in my chair, I'm going to overlay my video and it's literally going to scale me down in the bottom corner about here-ish and I'm going to have a screen capture all over the screen. That's going to allow me to talk, have a face cam and I'm not going to take up much of the screen in the process. So, overall, yeah, it's going to be a better standard of video. So, that's the reason I've done it. My project is going to last for three months. So, I'm going to try and put out a video every single Monday from this point forward because it's a new year. And I'm not too sure about a like a time scale for this project yet but I'm going to try and provide tutorials which are relative to the things that I want to apply them to it may be different from yours so and I'm gonna talk about that sort of stuff in the first tutorial next week so yeah without further ado everyone I hope you've enjoyed this video it's been just rather informative and yeah I want to move my channel away from video game let's plays because they're just like saturated on YouTube nowadays like it's so hard to become like a game let's player on YouTube because there's just so many people doing it and I feel that as if doing game design and tutorials and things which people can like learn from and use I've got more of a potential of like becoming like more popular <laughs> which is what I want to do because I want to involve you guys in the community in the things that I do as a game developer so this is in like no way trying to achieve money or anything like I, I don't intend to like use YouTube as a form of profit like I don't I don't agree with that the other thing is that like say I want to monetize a YouTube video that features game content like I've got to use like a YouTube partner in order to make gameplay so they can take a cut from it basically and I don't agree with that but I could monetize if I'm doing my own things, my own content, and my own games. Because if I'm producing my own games, I've got all the copyright, like intellectual property and everything toward that. So I've got nobody on my back, like wanting to say, oh yeah, this is ours, we want money from you. <laughs> I don't agree with all that. <laughs> So, that's the reason, or one of the reasons why I'm doing it. The other reason is that I want to share my knowledge with people out there, like you that are watching this video right now, and I want people to learn stuff from me. So, there may be times where, like, I upload a, a video and you're like, oh, I already knew that. And I'm going to try and produce content which is suitable from beginners to like people who are relatively advanced. But 
there is a like a niche sort of between which I'm trying to hit. So um anyway, yeah. I'm gonna be rambling on, aren't I? But um <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video everyone, I'm going to try and make sure to upload every Monday from now on, I'm going to create a dedicated upload schedule of all the videos I'm going to upload over the next few months, and yeah, it should be about every Monday from about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, I will see you guys next week in the next one, and I hope to see you there, so peace out, have a good one. <laughs>